The Waimarama Road off-road cycle trail was officially open today, with the region's leaders testing it out by bike or on foot. Construction of the 2.5-kilometre limestone trail between Tamata Road and Craggy Range Winery began in January this year, aimed at improving safety for cyclists and motorists on this busy stretch of road. Today's landscape cycle trail was built because it's the last part of the 2.5 kilometres of the of the ride that gets people out to the Tukituk Valley. It's an amazing ride all along the mad what we call a mad mile. So it's about keeping people safe and off the road and being able to enjoy the beauty and look over at the beautiful Tukituk Valley. Well, it's certainly about getting cyclists off by Marama Road, and but it's actually really picturesque and it's really beautiful. So it's much nicer than biking on the road, um, but it's actually a whole lot safer too. So I can just see families and everybody being able to access the Tukituk Valley to enjoy the whole of the landscape ride now coming from as far as Napier. The final three kilometres is part of the wider 200 kilometre Hawke's Bay Trail Landscapes Ride Network one of Aotearoa's 22 great rides. Oh, I can see people coming um, as far as, you know, Taradale, Napier, connecting up with a wider Hawke's Bay uh, cycle network. And, uh, you know, people from Hastings will come out through the Havelock Road, out to Havelock and do the landscape ride. Uh, people will come from Napier, um, Clive, Te Wonga. It's just going to be the, the final leg of the whole journey, the network. Due to be completed in April, the project was jointly funded by Ministry of Business, Innovation and Employment, Hastings District Council, Hawke's Bay Regional Council and Eastern Central Community Trust. This has been um, on the books to actually p do part of the landscape ride for a very long time. Uh, we got about half the amount of money from central government through the Tourism Infrastructure Fund because it's very much a tourism project and uh, also for locals and half of it is ratepayers, both Regional Council and Hastings District Council ratepayers and we also very lucky to get a funding from Eastern Central Community Trust. So it's been a real community project and a great partnership between all the funders. And we've had some amazing contractors helping us along the way but most importantly we wouldn't have been able to make the last leg of the 2.5 kilometres without our support of the local landowners and the landowners um, allowed us and gave us permission to cross their land and there's about six of them and we're really grateful for them who have been able to make this happen.